start. Um, my name is Joe Coates. It's April 20th of 2022. My name is Joseph Coates. I'm the Reference Librarian Manager and University Archivist here at Purdue University Northwest. We're in the Westville Archive and I'm joined today by uh, Laura Blaney. We're going to talk to her a little bit and then we're going to go through the um, time capsule that should have been opened two years ago, but due to the pandemic, we're a little bit behind. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with Laura. If you want to introduce yourself, oh. tell us a little bit about you. Hi, Laura Blaney. Um, I'm currently a Porter County Commissioner, which is was not the plan when I was here at Purdue. Uh, I majored in biology and had planned to go to dental school. But life uh, sends you curves and you just roll with it. So here I am. What are some of the other things that you've done since you graduated? Oh, or what were your, well, let's start with where are you from and why did you choose to come to Purdue North Central at the time? And then how, like, just a little bit about yourself and your professional career. Sure. Maybe how coming here helped to impact that. Okay. Um, well, um, I'm from Valparaiso. I grew up there. I've lived there almost my entire life. And uh, I ended up coming here. I went to college straight out of high school and uh, decided that I needed to take the scenic route. <laughs> <laughs> so I came back here a few years later. I was newly married to my husband, Ken, and he owned Kelsey's Steakhouse, so um, we weren't leaving this area. Right. And I looked at IUN, and I looked here, and I looked at VU, and I just liked the feel I got here, and um, we could afford it. And so this is where I ended up. My plan at that time was to follow in my father's footsteps and go to dental school, but um, I decided that I would needed to start a family because I was I was 20, I think I, we figured out I was 27 when this happened. Okay. So by the time I graduated, <laughs> I was 20. She was born when I was 29. Okay, okay. And we wanted to get started, and I thought I would take her to daycare, and then when she was born, I didn't want to do that anymore, so um, I stayed home for a few years. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know what else. I, I got lost. How did you get into politics? How did I get into politics? Oh, boy. Well, we were building our house. Uh -huh. um, that we live in now, and uh, a company decided to site a landfill pretty much right across the street, and we were about a month from moving in, and it was a 353-acre landfill, and uh, obviously wasn't too excited about that. Right, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we got involved, I got involved with the neighbors, and my husband was working a lot, so it was primarily me, and it got me involved in the government, and and realized I really didn't know what was going on and I hadn't done my civic duty. And at, right when that was finishing up, um, a seat on the county council came open. Okay. And I was approached to try to caucus into it. And I said, sure, just tell me what they do. <laughs> and so it was a pretty steep learning curve at the sure, beginning. Sure. But um, I ended up loving it. I ended up loving the work and became a commissioner a few years later. and I. Love that even more. So, and how long have you been in Porter County politics? Um, twenty well? years. Twenty years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, twenty years. So, and, and what was your major? I you majored in, in biology. Okay. So okay. I clearly, <laughs> so, was not on the right. path to. You know what? Your normal. Oh, I'm going to major in political science. Right. right. For no, all of this. No, okay. No, okay. No. I um, did not ever. If you had told me that while I was a student here, I would have right. laughed. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Even well, though I wasn't a student government here. See, it was... <laughs> see? I didn't know, but it was in my genes. <laughs> it was, yeah, that was your start to, yeah. to, for yeah. politics. So, what? Uh, when did you attend classes here, and what are some of your memories from attending classes here? Well, the funny thing is my first memory, I was a non-traditional student being married and coming back. I, the first test I took was in uh, some math class, and um, I was very anxious about getting that test back, and sitting in class, he's turning the test back, and I didn't get one back. And I said, I know I took this test. And he said, well, what's your name? And I said, Laura Blaney. And he said, well, I have a few here. No. And I said, I know I took, I just sat here and took the test. And then it hit me, 
I had probably written Laura Sure because I was oh, okay. getting married. And I said, Laura Sure, and he said, oh, yes, here it is. So that's kind of the, the space I was in when I was here. Sure. Just, um, very, very new start on life with a new husband. And um, it was just a really happy time. You yeah. know, it's a good start. Um, had great professors here and got me very excited to continue on my path. And, yeah. yeah. So being, being a non-traditional student and then also running for student government, Mm-hmm. Like, what was the prompting for that? Well, you know, I don't know what the student body really looks like now, but uh, there were a lot of non-traditional students here, and I was still in my 20s, so it wasn't, you know, right. night and day. Right, Nobody right. Nobody saw me coming down the highway and went, there's the old lady. Right. <laughs> but, um, so it just was kind of a natural fit. I was resume building, and, and, I, and I was very happy here, so I just kind of wanted to get more involved, and that was one of the things some professor suggested to me and sure away I went. sure so just looking at your time when you were in college and now that you have a daughter in college yeah one in college one graduate yeah what are some of the big changes that you've seen uh, from your time going, and I know it's a little bit different because she's going we're in um, I have one at Hope College in Holland. Hope College, that's right, that's right. Um, my older one graduated from Loyola. Okay, Chicago. okay. Um, yeah, a little different just because they're in more traditional settings, but yeah. um, it's a lot more expensive <laughs> now. Especially um, when you start going to Loyola and Hope and you start yeah, going to those yeah. private I mean, they both, and... you know, helped out with scholarships. And, yes, yeah. But um, that's a big difference. I don't know though. They both ended up in nice, um, supportive, smaller communities within their bigger community, kind of like I did. And, um, you know, those kind of things are the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they both kind of went down different paths, so it's hard to compare curriculum. Yeah. I, I do know with my curriculum, we were just starting genetics when I was here. And we did gels, which was pretty progressive. But they were these big giant, um, right, right. you know. And if I and I taught a little bit during that time, and I've often thought it'd be nice to teach again. But I would really probably have to retake some of the, you know, yeah. a good handful of courses because it's just moved so dramatically forward compared to what I, right. where I was. Right, right. Yeah. Do you have any advice for uh, younger? people that are interested in doing civic work or politics or something along those lines? Just get in there and don't be afraid and don't feel like um, everyone that's there knows so much more than you do and everybody, the old saying, puts their pants on one leg at a time in the the morning and um, they're really, you learn fast. There, it's not full of people you can't match wits with. It's um, it's your everyday people that are up there. And um, do it, please. We, <laughs> <laughs> we need educated, engaged people. Yeah, I think everybody kind of focuses on your big races, your big congressional seats, and they the president, do. those things. Yeah. And nobody looks at. They don't. Local government. Local is, government. The ones that fill your potholes and deliver your water yes. and do all and the important Local things. government affects your life the most every day. Right, right. And, and people sort of ignore it, and it's so important to get involved. And I know you're on something with uh, drainage or something. Yeah, like that. all three commissioners. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's not sexy. It's right. very boring. <laughs> But uh, we really change people's lives with improved stormwater Yeah, if you want to keep water out of your basement, it's a good (laughs) idea to worry about those sorts of things. Sure, uh, sure. We have terrific staff, and it's it's diverse, it's meaningful. You're directly giving back to a community. So, um, yeah, I couldn't recommend it more. I mean, the politics side of it is... It is what it is. It is what it is. It's kind of painful, but it's usually not as bad on a local level. Right, so... Right. Yeah. Yeah. And how it's Democrat, Republican, it, it kind of goes by the wayside once you're sitting there locally. Yeah. And that's super nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not, not everything is polarizing when you not have to fill all. potholes yeah, or worry about storm sewers and no. things like that. And yeah. the board I'm on, there's three commissioners. Um, the other two are both Republicans, and they've never made me feel like I'm not one of the, one of the team. That's... 
Yeah. That's nice to know after, you know, watching the news the yeah, past no. decade or so. Right. It seems to sort of be, you can't get anything done or something. Like no, that. and so, our boards have flipped back and forth. But it's been Democrat controlled before I got there. And the council's been Democrat controlled. It is right now. And it just just doesn't really matter. Yeah. So that's beautiful. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Um, anything else you want to share about uh, your time at uh, PNC, now P and W? Yeah, the... um, it's just it's changed a lot as yeah. far as the expansion, and it looks great. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm excited about what's happening here, and I'm I'm really glad I, I was here. I'm glad to be part of this. We're and yeah. we're glad to have you here. And in the next moment, I'm going to uh, pause cameras real quick. We're going to get out the time capsule. And we'll be back in a second. One. Okay, and we're back, and we're going to start going through these contents. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in 1995, uh, when the tech building was opened, they put this time capsule in the cornerstone. We just removed it on the 15th, and we're going through it on the for the first time today. Um, I did cheat a little bit to make sure that nothing was damaged, so I have looked, but as other than that, um, nobody's looked at anything yet. So we're going to go through each item and talk about them and see if we remember or, or know what they are. What they are. So uh, we'll go ahead and go first, and we'll Steve start with that. There you go. <laughs> this has been my contribution. I was the vice president at that time, and okay. the president wasn't available, so that's why I get to oh, do this. Oh, so you get to fill yeah, in the, for the president. Oh boy, well I don't think we want to read all this, it looks a little bit boring, but... <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, paper clip's rusty. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we, in our archives, we pull paper clips and everything. It's pretty neat, I'll have to look at this later. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> wonder how much has changed. No, that's a darn good question. We'll have to see if we can find it. I know I have uh, one of our graduate students that she's teaching a class this morning, and she said she would come by. So we'll oh, see great. if she's by. The video that we that you sent me that was taken on yes. that day when I put that in the box. Uh, my kid's main comment was, "You had a lot of hair." <laughs> <laughs> Did you have the curl in the? I bigger? just had really thick hair. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I lost so much stuff. To... I'll let you take this? a look at that. Is this the schedule? It's either like the ske schedules. Or no? What is that? Oh, well, that's our, the student enrollment. Oh my goodness. From wow. fall. Yeah. Wow. And fancy computer paper. The old dot <laughs> matrix. Yeah. yeah, look at there. This was, this was <laughs> pretty progressive stuff back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see some familiar names here. And I wonder how That's many awesome. people are still around. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Take a couple of these items out here. Um, we'll let you take a look at that. Oh boy. I'm not sure I'll let you take a look at that. Okay. Bag. Smells Yeah. <laughs> The smell yeah, of this, for, for any of you who own a home with a basement, <laughs> you'll know this smell. Yeah. Oh, this is APSAC. So these were, uh, let's see, Diane Carpenter, Edith Cagney, I remember. Peggy Novotny, Novotny, is that Novotny, it? I think. Novotny. Yeah. Kretzman. Yep. And Nielsen, Deborah Nielsen. Deborah Nielsen. Yeah. Oh. They're all very familiar so names. De I know Deborah, so if you get to watch this in the future, welcome. To the time capsule opening. Yeah, what's yeah. the other one there? Diane Carpenter. Mm hmm. Yeah, so these were probably the APSAC representatives on a Purdue hat. Looks like we have banner. a banner. Let's see what this one is a little bit crusty, a little bit crunchy. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, That's okay. you want to take that out? Oh. There we go. Student Senate. I must have put that in there. Oh, look at there. Purdue, Univer oh, Purdue nice. University North Central Student Center. There we go. Fantastic. And I'm glad to see that even though it's a little bit crusty, that it's still in yeah. pretty good shape. A little smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we, we must have had a new banner, right? That's what would take? Maybe, maybe you put the old one in the box. Yeah. To, <laughs> to 
So let's see, we've got a couple more items here. Um, oh, I'll open this and I'll hand it off to you and you can read it while we go through it here. There you are, oh boy. Contributions to the time capsule. Ah. The annual report should be in here. List, listing of the APSAC numbers. Yep, so we have the APSAC contribution to the time capsule that's been written out. Faculty, we've got a grade book, a red pen, and a registration card. People don't do grade books yeah. so much now. Let's see, CSAC, 17 years of action. We've got two of those, and we do have a grade book in here. Do you have any grades in there? No, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to talk. We may not want to talk about it. Maybe. And it looks like a registration card. Uh, oh, for gosh, I classes. remember filling those out. Things have changed a lot. And we'll see if the pen actually works later on. Well, we didn't pack this thing full. There was a old, the old banner, it says, for mm -hmm. Student Senate and our Constitution. And I guess we changed our name from Student Senate to Student Government. Okay. That's probably okay. I had forgotten that. Well, the clerical and staff's, um, clerical and service staff advisory committee should have had some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what these are. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. May 19th, 1995. So we're almost 22 years to yeah. the, 20, 27 years to the day. 27 years. I think I was 27 years old. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Another lifetime has passed. Oh boy, isn't that, isn't that, yes. doesn't that feel like it? Let's see. Oh, this looks like... Oh, the dedication. It was the same day. Yeah, yeah. So this is all information. Uh, oh, good. So this is the technology building dedication remarks by Chancellor Allspaw. I remember when the doors opened, that it was a big deal. And then we have a little fun fact on uh, Purdue University North Central's new technology building. We have a uh, program from it. I'll have these with a little map inside. I'll let you take a look. And then we have a VHS tape of the dedication itself, and we'll see if this actually works. Not today, but uh, the sad part about these types of things are the good V, like the newest VHS tapes are already past their lifespan. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I need to get some of mine transferred probably sooner than later. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Groundbreaking was February 2nd, 1993. The completion was April 1995, and the first classes were in the summer. I remember that. I wish there was some information in here about the kind of technology that was in the building at yeah, the time. So forth yeah. to the program. Doesn't really say it all. Three computer classrooms. Ooh. <laughs> and that was the technology building. Yeah. Ten general purpose classrooms. There aren't so many um, areas dedicated to computers now, right? Because everybody has their own. Some of the, yeah, we're, we're actually moving away from having computers in every classroom and then just yeah. having like smart classrooms. You know, um, actually the library were one of the first to switch over to all laptops for, okay. for, for staff. Oh. So we're getting docking stations and then we'll be carry our laptop with That's it, just great. plug in when we're there. Do the, do the um, desks have plugs yet in some of the lecture rooms? Or is that oh yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll take you okay. for a walk through okay. some of them That's here later. Very on. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was just looking for left-handed desks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, we still have some of the classrooms that still have the, probably right, some of the desks yeah, from when you were here. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Uh, let's see, in the last, Part of this is from the uh, Chancellor's office. So it gives you a 1993-1994 annual report. Spring classes 1995. Oh boy, I remember those. The schedule of classes, the general catalog from 1994-1996, which by the way you can find on the University Library's website. We did digitize all of these years ago. And this was uh, this picture. This guy was the president. His name is escaping right near him. Okay. 
<coughs> Pardon me. And we do have a, a letter from the Chancellor, or at least something that looks like it's from the Chancellor. So let's see what it says. Uh, September 27th, 1995. So it looks like the Chancellor got to put his things in last. It says, <laughs> Chancellor, Purdue University, North Central, so on and so forth. It says, uh, Dear colleague, this is a beautiful day in Northwest Indiana as we prepare to seal this time capsule into the cornerstone of the building that we now call technology. The sun is shining brilliantly, the temperature is in the 70s, and the campus is beautiful. This event is a culmination of nearly 10 years of effort on the part of the campus. We hope that by the time you read this, the fruits of our labor will be evident. I hope that your service to the University in Northwest Indiana is as gratifying as mine has been. I wish you all the luck in the world. I leave you a fine university and hope that in 2020, you will find it a great one. Sincerely, Dale W. Allspa, Chancellor. So there you go. And that was the last item in the time capsule. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and end for the day. So it's been a pleasure and I hope that in 25 years or so, that maybe we'll be invited to for the next one. We're, we're both happy to do that if we're yes, around for it. it. And uh, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. It's our yeah, pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll stop. Fantastic. That was fun. Thank you, Laura, I appreciate yeah. that.